Welcome, right, good morning. We have three selections for today. I also have some cracking bets got out on the Cold Bear Sports Patreon service if you want them. Links are all over the channel. I do have some really nice bets coming up right through into Tuesday. So keep following. I have a max bet on out today in Lingfield. Seven points win. Tipped up at five to two. Right. Let's touch on these today. I'm going to kick it off with one in Kempton. A very interesting runner in the 6.30 for me is 8 Mile. I like this runner for a number of reasons. I like the handicap mark of 56. It's still unexposed. It's by Dandy Man and seven furlongs seems to be definitely well within reach the way it ran the last day. I do like the jockey book and Callum Shepherd, but I also like the trainer. The trainer had a really tough time of it the year before last. And then last year he made the adjustments. It's always the sign of a good trainer. You know, you, you look from outside the box. He made a few tweaks where he said right we need to start targeting races put our horses in the races they can win you know a lot of trainers get caught up you know over over you know overdoing it in times but george took a step back he started targeting all the races his horses could win and all of a sudden bang 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 winner after winner keeping his horses in the worst company possible you know getting them into the right grades he was traveling up north he had a lot of success in the likes of hamilton and places like that and I just think 8 Mile is progressive enough to warrant a bet. A point win at 7-2 in the 6.30 at Kempton from a nice draw. Let's see a good run from 8 Mile. And then in the 3.23 at Weatherby. Is it half a piece? Look, this horse came right back to a bit of form the last day. And he was beaten by a decent type on the day. I do feel he's handicapped to run really well again. Is he nailed on to win? I don't know, but he's definitely nailed on to run a massive race. Toby Wynn takes five pounds off. And uh, yeah, look, he's going to... He's going to be there. I'd be shocked if he's not there, if, he, if he's not one of them. You know, whatever wins, it'll beat him. That's my feeling. So a pint win, half a piece, 9-4 to four in the 3.23 at Weatherby. And then Dicer Dynamo. You think the wheels fell off Dicer Dynamo. I don't know if people know something I don't know. But I really like Dicer Dynamo. And now all of a sudden, he's gone out to 7-2. to two. He was a big, long rake as a hurdler. Never going to make a hurdler in my eyes. So the, what he achieved was absolutely well above uh, my expectations for a horse that tall and weak. He won the Moscow Flyer. Yes, it didn't work out for him in the Supreme Novices Hurdle. But I never thought it would. Too leggy, too dangly. But, uh, you know, the, some of the best chasers never made top hurdlers. And I just think Dicer Dynamo has extremes amount of potential now he's a year older a year stronger and uh, clearly a lot more um mentally matured the way he jumped around leperstown on his own up front yes was it a bit of a no contest maybe so but he jumped every fence um took a little chance i think uh was it the second fence he took a little chance but he winged it. He didn't just take a chance. He came off and winged it. Look, I'm just with him. He's gone out to seven to two. I've you know I've tipped him up on the previews. I like him at seven to two. I think he's a great bet as long as there's nothing wrong in the camp with him or something because I just can't understand how this horse is in favour today. I really can't. Uh, just because of the size structure and potential uh, he's just clearly bred for, like made for chasing you know when you look at this structure size and yeah I don't know I would be shocked if Dicer Dynamo doesn't take all the beat in here um, right 2.30 out to 72 a pint win right some really cracking bets on the Patreon service check them out keep following Colbert Sports